West, and this is Studio 7 on YouTube West, and got my Western hat on today. Why? Because we're going to take a trip back in time. That's right. I had to review two new movies. Neither one of them I thought were very good. So I'd like to go back to 1958 and bring out a guy by the name of Glenn Ford. And in this movie that I'm going to talk about is called The Sheep Men. This is one of those hidden gems, The Sheep Men. The reason why it's a hidden gem is because there's not very many famous people, even for the time, that are in the movie. There's an up-and-coming guy named Leslie Nielsen, who you'll remember from Airplane, and there's the woman with multiple personalities named Shirley MacLaine. The movie runs about 85 minutes, so it's short. It's produced by Edmund Granger, who has been throughout Hollywood for a long, long time, and George Marshall. Why is The Sheepman important for our conversation today? Because it's a 7 out of 7 movie, number one. It's really good. It's well filmed, it's well presented, and the acting just doesn't get any better than Glenn Ford. And Shirley MacLaine is wonderful. She's on point, she's paying attention, and she's almost as good as this as she was in Guarding Tess, which I think is the best movie she's ever done. But what makes The Sheepman really good is it's to the point. And you're gonna get that from the moment it starts, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of the plot. Glenn Ford arrives in town to be a sheepman in cattle country in the Old West, and that just ain't happening. So how he manages to make that happen is being by direct and to the point, and at first you're thinking, this guy can't be real, and he's wonderful at it. So there's gonna be a bit of comedy, there's gonna be a bit of stupidity, but there's gonna be a bit of wonderful trading between lines and development and characters that make you wanna actually watch this movie. It's a great little movie, it's produced by MGM. It is a marvelous little movie. Now, music's by a guy by the name of Jeff Alexander. I have no idea who he is, but I'm sure I've listened to his stuff before. And it was written by a guy named William Browers. I like this movie a lot. And I ran across it by accident on Turner Classic Movies one day, and I thought, eh, I'll sit through it. It's Glenn Ford, and I remember Glenn Ford from a couple of my favorite movies that were war movies at the time. But when... I was like eight, nine minutes into the movie and I was hooked. And by the time it was over, I said, man, I just had fun. I had a rollicking good time. I made popcorn. I enjoyed it and it only cost me an hour and 25 minutes. And frankly, I lost more time in my life on downsizing, reviewing it and watching it than I did on this movie. I like Westerns. I like good movies. I like good acting. I like a well-written script. I like dialogue that comes and goes and gets built with character development. And I like the scenery to reflect the narrative. And all these things make a great movie. And The Sheep Men for one hour and 25 minutes is a wonderful little movie. For Studio 7, I'm Bob West.